Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you are a returning visitor, thank you for stopping by again. If you are new, then I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up, leave a comment if there's something that you wanna see, and don't forget to subscribe for more great videos, tips and tricks, check out my travels, all that fun stuff. So today we are talking about dry alternatives to liquid items for, especially for those of you who travel just carry on only like I do, you're limited as far as what liquids you can bring and you know, if I don't have to bring any, then I don't. Why would you? So we are just going to get started. I hope you like this video. And if there's a dry alternative that I miss that you bring when you travel, definitely let me know below. I would love to check it out. So the first thing that I want to talk about is moisturizer because when I fly, and I know that a lot of people are the same way, you know, your hands get really dry, your skin gets really dry, and this is the moisturizer that I use at home. I really, really like it. It works really, really well, and I have a really hard time uh, when I'm traveling not having moisturizer on me. So instead of bringing this, which is a little big and bulky and definitely takes up some room in your luggage, I instead travel with this. So this is just a small shea butter. And this one is the Shea Butter from uh, L'Occitane. And it's really great and it's just, it's more of a solid little body butter. And it's just a solid inside so you just take the lid off and rub it on. And it actually spreads fairly well. You would think that with a solid product like that it would be harder to spread. Um, but it really doesn't make too much of a difference and it really keeps me moisturized and feeling good during my flights and my travels. So the next product that I want to talk about a dry alternative for is your makeup remover. So we all wear makeup on the road and having makeup remover with us is a necessity but it's also kind of screaming for disaster. And I know a lot of people will, you know, unscrew the lid and put it in a smaller carry-on container so that it meets carry-on regulations. But even that can explode all over the place and just be a big mess. It's something that you don't want to deal with. So a dry alternative for that would be a facial wipe. So I have these Olay Daily Facials Express Wet Cleansing Cloths and they're for all skin types, alcohol free. I really, really love them. And not only do they cleanse your skin and wash your skin, but they remove your makeup, including waterproof mascara. And I really, really like these ones. So these are the ones that I travel with. You can bring them in on your carry-on and they're not liquid at all, so they don't count towards your limit. Hand sanitizer. So we all know when we're traveling that we are at risk of picking up germs pretty much anywhere. You touch those tray tables on your flights, you touch those screens, and you know someone before you has touched them too, coughed on their hands, recirculated air, it's all not great. So we travel with hand sanitizer. That is a liquid, and that's another one that if it explodes all over your stuff, it is a disaster. It's so hard to get out and it's just you can smell it and oh, it's just bad. So an alternative to that, which I carry and have always carried really, is the hand sanitizing wipes. So you can pick those up at drugstores, Walmart, any place like that. I'm sure Target would have them, although we don't have Targets here anymore. But um, yeah, so a hand sanitizing wipe over a bottle of hand sanitizer can save you a lot of headaches. Now on to soaps and body washes. So I don't really know a lot of people who travel around with a bar of soap or like a brick of soap, um, just because that has a whole bunch of issues of its own. And a lot of people that I do know will bring body wash. So here's my body wash at home. So it's pretty big. You can get travel sized uh, body washes as well. And if you're staying in hotels, a lot of the time uh, body wash will be provided. But if you want your own, something that I would actually suggest as a dry alternative are soap leaves, the dry soap leaves. And I swear by these. I got these first from, I think I got them for Christmas from like my Nana, I don't know. And I love them. So you just take them out of the packet, run the water, put one on your hands and get wet lathered together. You would think that it wouldn't lather very well or that it would leave some dry film and that kind of thing, but it really, really doesn't. Um, I'll put a link below to some brands that I really like so you can check them out, but it gets a really good lather and I find that for my hands, I use, I use a full one or a half one just because there's no sense in just ripping off a corner usually, but I can usually wash my whole body with two leaves. Next on the list is nail polish. So I love to have my nails done when I'm traveling in bright fun colors and I like to, you know, have them done for the beach and obviously now I'm on video and stuff so I like to, you know, keep things together. Um, 
Obviously, nail polish does meet your liquid allowance. It's not too big of a bottle, but it's another thing that if it explodes, you're doomed. And they're just kind of awkward to carry, and I feel like it's one of those things that you want to have with you, but when you're removing things and trying to like cut down on liquids and other items, nail polish is going to be one of the first ones that you pull out because it's not always a necessity. My solution for that are the Sally Hansen Salon Effects um, Real Nail Polish Strips. So they last up to 10 days and they come in a little box like this and they're great. I love them. Mine usually last longer actually, I'm not going to lie, but the thing with these is that the box, yes, is small and compact, but even if you don't want to carry that big of a box around, if you have a nail file that you already bring with you, then all you need to bring is this little packet that's inside. You can leave the instructions and all that other craziness at home. So this takes up little to no room in your makeup bag. You can just kind of tuck it away and have it with you. And I will usually bring, these ones are in prints, but you can get them in solid colors as well. And I don't know. I, I have great things to say about them. That's, that's just, that's that. Perfume is another biggie that people will always transfer from their large bottles of perfume into some smaller carry-on regulated containers. Uh, I don't bother with that because I have had perfume spill all over my luggage and yeah, yeah, we don't, we don't talk about it anymore. But yeah, so what I use now is the uh, little dry perfume pots. This one is Roses and Rain from L'Occitane and I did a L'Occitane haul when I first got back from Thailand last time and I will put the link somewhere around here. Check it out. Um, so I bring this dry perfume with me. I know that there are a ton of other brands of dry perfume out there, but this one is just one that I really, really like, and you can get them from Duty Free, uh, three different scents to one little like strip. So that's what I get, and I absolutely love it. I wear it at home too, actually. I don't just wear it when I'm on the road. For lip gloss, I always use when I'm at home, I use the uh, L'Occitane Hydrating Lip Gloss which is great, it's a really nice, thick, creamy liquid, which is great, and it really hydrates my lips, but when I'm traveling, I switch that out for um, these lip service, all natural lip butters. Uh, this one is blueberry cheesecake, you can get it in a ton of different flavors. Wait, well, I don't eat it. But you know what I mean, a ton of different scents, yummy scents. Blueberry cheesecake is really good. I also have the lychee, which I love. Uh, they have like a pomegranate one, which is really good. I will link those below as well. And I will bring these because they are not liquid and they still hydrate just as well. So don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Don't be fooled. And lastly, and this isn't really a dry alternative for anything, but it's sort of my honorable mention because I carry it with me all over the place in the same bag that I carry all these other products in. So I'm just gonna put it out there is the facial blotter sheets. I live by them. When I fly, you know, my skin gets dry and then I get into the humidity and then it gets sweaty and the makeup gets greasy and cakey and it's just a whole problem. So these strips really go a long way to just, you know, you blot them, they get the grease up, make you feel refreshed give you more of a matte look and let you get on your way without looking like you've just been flying for like 30 hours. So, whoa. So, there you have it. Why bring all of this? Right. Why bring all this when all you need is this? If you like this video and you have some dry products that you use when you're traveling, definitely let me know below. I would love to hear about it. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We post new videos every Sunday and also sometimes sporadically through the week. You can follow our travels and check out our tips and tricks videos and also see everything that we do at www.tltraveltrips.com or www.tltravel.ca. Stay great, travel safe, and I will see you next time. Bye!